ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Here they are now, Chantel and Carrie. Hey guys, you're watching for a couple of days with Chantel and Carrie. It must be Thursday. Hey guys. Hello, everybody. This week's topic is um, clothing and closets, closet tour, um, what clothes and style you are, how mm -hmm. you are individually in a couple, mm -hmm. what makes you femme, what makes you butch, soft butch. I'm not, you know, I looked up the definition of um, soft butch yesterday, and I don't think that's what I am. The things they were saying is not me. Okay, what are you? I do agree with the term, um, I have it on the computer here. Faux butch. I appear to be um, more of the manly type. And I, in the, I do take that role. You know, I mow the yard and, and uh, fix the fence and can work on the motorcycle. And and, I, and so I, pl I play and that build part. Things. I build stuff all the time. So I, and definitely out of the two of us, definitely the more masculine. However, if we're watching TV and one of them, it's something to cry over, who do you think is going to cry about it? It's me. So exterior... Yes, I am a little bit more uh, boyish, tomboyish, boyish. It depends on the day. But inside, heart of gold, sensitive, sweet. And I'm the opposite. Yep. Inside, I mean, I'm heart of gold, sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I tend to be more of the, okay, I'm just going to lay this out. Oh, no. Okay. In the bed and outside of the bed. I'm never going to be able to look back up this camera. I'm usually more of the femme on the streets, butch in the sheets. Yeah. I'm very... <sighs> and I'm controlling, but not bad. I'm losing street kit cred the longer you talk. I'm just dominant in my personality. I have a very... In, in like this many areas of your life. I am dominating. Yes. I get stuff done. I am the boss of all the bosses. That's what I do. That's my every day. I'm going to be the one in charge. I'm going to make sure things are taken care of and I'm going to handle it. Damn it. And my, my I have a dominant personality. So I just like... I want to be the leader, too, and everything. But anyways. But in our relationship, not that way. In our relationship, I lead, and you ask me questions. Yes, but I not lead. Not because I, I make lead it. I lead a lot in this relationship, Not because too. I make it that way, but because she, she leads wants to it. ask. And I make the rules. Passive-aggressively. <laughs> Whatever. That's but anyways, I look to be more feminine. You are. Yes. I'm not what you call... Ultra femme. Um, no. I don't have my nails done all the time. I don't get my nails done. Nope. I don't wear tons of makeup. Mm -mm. I don't take forever to get ready. Well, sometimes mm -hmm. I do. Um, I forget about Sarah friends because I do that. Well, it's because I'm a makeup artist. Um, I don't wear pink. I don't wear a lot of lace. I have pink frilly. on right now. Oh. And I'm not a frilly girl, so I'm not an ultra femme. I don't really know what I can't, what I am, but I, what I call myself is, get this. You ready for this? Ready for this? I'm Terminology not, I'm lesson. Not I'm not ready. Soft femme. What's up? Let me explain to you what that means. She will curl her hair. She wears women's clothing. Most of the time, she'll put on a little bit of makeup. If we're going out, she will put it on and make it look like superstar. Like, I'm being for real. I'm not even kidding. It's incredible. She wears cargo shorts, but she also wears those people my age. Y'all remember those little shorts from when you were, I don't know, preteen, 
maybe elementary school, early junior high school. And they're pretty short. And they would be, I'm going to say, for example, Kelly Green. But they have that white trim. It's about, I don't know, half inch thick. goes all the way around. Has that little cut on the side. Sometimes she wears those. <clears throat> but a lot of times I'll wear a sports bra, a wife beater, and cargo shorts, and my hair's in a bun, and but, I'm just, I'm, I, I'm... But still looks exceptionally girly. Even in a yes. wife beater, she's very, yes. very But I'm, I'm not but, ultra femme. So. But we'll go climb a tree with you. She's, she's the perfect kind of girly. And play in the mud. Oh, babe. Well, you are. I mean, you're gorgeous, right? Thank you. And you're very feminine. And you enjoy being a girl, and you know how to make all that work, right? But at the same time, we'll go climb a tree or go camping or play in the mud or ride motorcycles with me or whatever. You're not too girly that you're no fun. Yes. So on to the most fantastic fun part of the show. Our closets. Well, it's we say closets not because we don't share a closet. We do share a closet. And then Chantel has her own closet outside of our closet. But I which I share with the pugs, which we'll show you later. Okay? On a memento. Alright, you guys ready? Now be prepared because our closets are in their natural habitat. I mean Leah did not straighten them up. We didn't hang things up. There's half of our closets on like in the laundry and on our dressers. So yeah, be prepared. Here we go. So um, this is some of my new favorite stuff. This is um, something Chantel got me for Christmas. This is a part of my style that is just now getting to flourish and become more part of me um, than it has been in the past, and I'm really enjoying that part. So um, you'll see that this kind of copies some of her style. Uh, down here is a couple of my button downs. I'm a button down wearer. A couple of my vests. I've got two there, a couple back there, some slacks. Mostly work pants, and I do wear, I have to wear slacks to work, so um, I do have more than any one person should have in the women's slacks department. I have a collection of ball caps. I wear a lot of ball caps. I wear a lot of, let me go grab them. I'm up here. Ivy caps. Uh, that's what this is called, is an ivy cap, or a newsboy cap, or whatever. Um, those are my favorite kind of hats. I'm going to say my wardrobe is 70-30 men's clothes to women's clothes. Um, not because I really consider myself butch too much. I just don't consider myself really girly. And it's easier to be tomboyish um, when you don't have to wear capped sleeves like girls' t-shirts are. I love dresses. I uh, didn't always used to wear dresses before I met Carrie. Well, I mean, when I was younger, like in high school, I wore dresses. Um, but um, I just started becoming, I don't know, when I, be when I came out, I guess I thought because I felt tomboyish that I would be tomboyish. Also, I was really sick of guys out there saying, um, no, you're not gay, you're too feminine looking. So I was like, whatever. I'm gonna, my hair was already short, so I didn't really have to do anything different. But I'm going to start dressing more tomboyish and date femmes, which I'm actually attracted to both femme and butch. Not like real butch, but like Carrie. Um, so, yeah. And then when Carrie, I started dating her, she liked dresses, and I was like... Wait, no, no. I don't like dresses. She likes dresses on me. I like dresses on you. Yes. And I was like, ooh, I do not wear dresses. I'm so sorry about your luck. And then I tried on a dress for her or something, and I was like, well, I, I kind of like it. And now I wear dresses, like, almost all the time. Mostly in the summer, but in the, in the winter, sometimes I'll layer, like, tights and boots and whatever underneath it, and jackets and things yeah, like that. summertime, she'll wear a dress four out of five days. Oh, yeah. So, more boho dresses, long skirts, boho prints. Boho, this is a fancy dress that I wore to my work's Christmas party. Lots um, of color. You can tell us a lot of color. We yeah. both are. We both like a lot of color. I do. I like a lot of color. And then um, one of my favorite dresses is where? Oh, my tie-dye dress. Mm-hmm. Love this one. So cute. And then 
bunch of boho dresses. This one, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was in our game show. Uh, I'm your host, Pat with, McCrotch. Yeah, when Carrie was Pat McCrotch and I had a pink wig on. This is the dress I wore. Um, scarves and tons of things like this. I like fun jewelry um, with boho and feather and Native American and hippie and uh, prayer beads. And here's all of my... I made this. All necklaces and feathers and things like that and beads, things that I, oh, show, um, show this without showing the clues. And more jewelry and Native American stuff and feathers and fun boho stuff. Yeah. Let me get out of the light there where you can see it. Okay. And that's all. That's me. That's my style. I don't know what it is. I think it's very, like, maybe more in, I don't know. You tell me. Well, we hope you guys have a great week. We love you all. We'll see you next week. Hope we cannot wait. Yes. Hope you enjoyed uh, seeing our stuff. Please give us some topics. Closet tour! What? Closet tour? Oh, tour. I thought you said closet door. And I'm like, what about it? At the whole Yep. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace out.